That goes better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill them for parking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Cosmo is on their side. Getting to the Cortex could be a lot harder. The Church believes they have already won. We must use that to our advantage. This mission is about saving Nikki. It'll be a real shame if Cosmo bought into the promise, but like we said in Lamentis, if we cure her, we cure everybody. What kind of promise could they offer a dog anyway? A nice game of fetch. Exactly. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess in this story. <laughs> Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Where it really stunk sometimes, but. Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throat can be very convincing. So can the promise. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodus about these adventures. A what? They are the keepers of Katathian lore. This will be an epic tale. Oh! Don't suppose we could try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. Yeah! Hey! Check it out! We got bad guys! Do not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt us first. Well, watch it! They have slow church spies! We kill Raker, we might save some of them! And the word is out about us! No point in killing them!
More batteries the deeper we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. I had a contact here, rotations ago. You did? Was it Blurf? No, no, no. Shadupan. What's? Maybe? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cat free. He always gave Groot the creeps. I wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. But we're all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Which part? He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About how Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. Is that what he said? It's easier to understand Bug Lady. I'm surprised the church was able to seize the Cortex. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Peter, you should find a way over to check. What? Why me? Ain't you the leader of this outfit? Hmm. I bet I could pull that chunk out. Didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. If I can find a way over there. Any ideas, Gamora? I can probably get you up there. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. <laughs> What's taking so long? I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. There's been
been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. He might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack. The Warlock carries an old grudge. He'll not align himself with the Grand Unifier. And yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyway? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. Ha! You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus' space magic ritual? We don't know space Sweet. magic! Please. Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. Yeah, I'm not so sure anymore, not after Lamentis. Looks like the church. Enemies ahead, Peter Quill! Shh! I am enemies ahead, Peter Quill. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nikki had Warlock's Soul Stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like he did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil of the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flark and family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage.
Cut tracks! What the fuck, Gamora? Destroying something! Look! The elite one's mending his allies! And he will what suffer for it! The priest is channeling power into that one! The flying one empowers them with faith! The blood bag amping up his body! He must have potion! Drag sack with fervor! Stop short, group! <laughs> Why? Some more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church? Of course not. Just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Rager brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki and what men like Rager and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister, if I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa, what? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. How I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <sighs> I 
I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nutjob cult leader? Yes! my friends, but none so magnificent as this. <laughs> it is magnificent, Drax. Unbelievably, insanely magnificent. <laughs> right? Like a fork and supernova. So stay on track, keep your eyes open, and shoot for the stars. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter. <laughs> forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. You see that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. Why do they keep blocking everything off? Because now they expect us. We need to find another way to the bridge. That seems long enough for a bridge. Unless it crumbles when it falls. Gap's too big to jump. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. Oh. 
You know? Really? A faith force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise, but you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. You die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Over there, you save me one. No promises. 
will tell tale of our battles here! giving up just in time because we're not getting back on that bridge I know where we are there's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to cosmos where it should be uh, right below us huh. must suck to be a celestial head just floating around the edge of the universe is stuck toilet and then parasites move in we need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Would under suffice? What's so special about Goldie anyway? Yeah, he's strong. But what good is strong against ridiculous, unrelenting firepower? Could you stop a turbulent ocean with your bullets? Yes. I did see a floor directly below this one. I ain't seeing no hatch or nothing. Hey, Quill, try your visor. 
battle must have been tremendous. Is any of this structurally sound? Something tells me it never was. Yep, that's part of Nowhere's charm. Part of the floor looks weak. Good thing we got old big boots. It is not the size of the boot, but the might of the one who wields it. will be nowhere royalty once we save it. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. Look, they're still at it. Yeah. The must be winning. <laughs> Warlock better not kill Raker before I get to him. I am eager to pull that sorcerer's insides to the outside. I don't need another round. Anyone see a way across? Yeah, we can't do nothing with that sign in the way, Quill. Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. Better off fighting our way there. Indeed. I would much rather face them with my blades. Memories of worlds destroyed. Always wondered, what did you used to do that? Some kind of mega bomb? Rocket. Blades, my own hands and feet, knees, elbows, often my forehead. Destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. Bridge to uh over there. Says you'll need to get it closer. Always knew nowhere would get raided, but not like this. You gonna make us a bridge or what? Who cares if he didn't ask? This ain't no time to be polite, you big stump. Got something for you, Drax. I am not the one to ask. Let's see those vines, Groot. Too far for me to, bud. Finally! I think they're giving up. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. <clears throat> Look! They're still at it. At least our guy seems to be winning. Ba -ba -ba boom baby! We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. Or 
Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Oh, you gotta be flarkin' kidding me. I don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that was a rocket! You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. No. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. He will regret it. How dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkment garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to asking yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed to the promise! No! Take me off, people! Against us here, Quill. I don't care about the odds. I laugh in the face of gods. We're here, and we're ready to fight. 
So let's get back out there and light up the night with those creeps. Who's with me? Yeah! We are! Great! Blister, we gotta keep them off, Cosmo! Ah, they will not touch you! One of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so was Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh. <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt. <sighs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's Peter Quinn. Because no one never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is it? Cosmo smell! Smell of nowhere. Where else would we be? Fur brain. His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky. In cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma. How you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katadia not go home. Yet. But home is not safe. Can never be the same again. So it no longer has this fresh grass that you speak of. I too would not want to live on the barren rock. It's not about. Is about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss? 
this being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet, you had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. Family would never turn back on Cosmo. Raised since he was mere pup. Just because someone feeds you and trains you doesn't mean they're your family. Daughter of Mad Titan King know nothing of loyalty. Turn tail on home, on Papa, no doubt on Guardian of Galaxies. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about! Cosmo will not be psychic to sense traitor. Uh, come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right! Yet, it's too late for old dog to learn new trick. Mother child will honor promise, and Cosmo will be best. One of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so was Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh. <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt. <laughs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's pure to cool. Cause no knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo Smell? Smell of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky and cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma. How you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katadia not go home. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit. Mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. I am good. If I met you mean I saved your bark, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cause will not feel like stray dog. First time. Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet, you had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. I lost my family too. My mom died right in front of me when I was just a kid. Then Piotr Quill should know. 
Cosmo would work like dog to his family back. If they are part of this promise, these humans are most assuredly dead. Do not be swayed by the bribe of their return as I was. Promise is only empty until fulfillment be. Perhaps it's Katadia who lost hope too quickly. <sighs> Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Peter Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fiction lies. That's it, what do you tell him? Nowhere is Cosmo Hobie. His pups, his family. We've protected all costs. Sick him, boy! Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. Wonder if the church even realizes what was being mined down here. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be... Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. Attack and scratch snatchers. God! Cosmo changed the codes. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We picked up a job from a Signog at Mantlos while you were off looking for the mud. What job? The less you know, the better. Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we could even stop something this powerful? <laughs> eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. When he was in his promise, Drax said Magus was... Eating my soul. And anything that eats can die, right? That don't sound too scientific. Guardian of Galaxy! Cosmo is owing bullshit. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church games between us and the Cortex. You coming? Yeah. Cosmo is retaking power of security, where his pups are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Pups too. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. Normal attacks aren't working! The traitor must feel the brunt of our cooperation! Slow him down! This is so close! The cranial matter has an impressive springiness! Close the distance! Don't let them pick you up! Come on up! Put down that giant brain train! They say the real valuable chunks are down there in the palamus! Slice and dice! Smoke them, Rocket! Feeling really exposed in this pit! Our enemies are just as exposed! Heads up! Oh. Those mines are gonna be an issue! Peter Quill! Over this way! way. I might really wanna check on that, Peter! No, Gamora! On it! Finally! Sick of those nasty mines! Goons got brain security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so water is right in. Probably already got the gray lung. Drax, little help, Evo. Readily. Over here, hurry! I move as swiftly as is necessary. 
Well, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <sighs> oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, you so fell for it. Gray lung. Ooh. Whoa. Be careful. This place is practically falling apart. The all of nowhere looks like this so We'll get back on its feet. A giant head does not have feet. It used to. Doing, doing. Duh. This work is worth more than your work, Quill. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. Oh, what have they done to you? You, uh, okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. <laughs> Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. Ugh, I have brain chunks stuck between the ridges of my boots. As do I. Like somebody's melted gum. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flark Nards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. How do you know there is a wheel? I, I saw no wheel. Yeah, th there ain't no wheel. But I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with Kurt Scott. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness. 